It's the Montreal Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. Kevin Hart presents LOL at JFN. My name is Ahmed Weinberg. Oh, thank you. My parents wrote that joke. I appreciate it. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be in Canada, guys. It's good to be out of America, because I'm a white, Jewish, Muslim, <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> I have to live, like, Ahmed Weinberg is not safe everywhere, you know? I have to live in liberal bubbles. That's basically, like, any city where they pretend weed is medicine, basically. <laughs> That's where I'm safe, you know? And I say pretend, because I know weed isn't medicine. And I know that because there's no legitimate medicine called purple derple, you know? <laughs> that shit's cr I don't know how we got this far with that. Like, some woman in Congress, like, look, my son has seizures every day. He needs the Hulk's dick <laughs> to get to school. <laughs> my parents are Muslim. A lot of people are scared of Islam, uh, but they're just normal homophobic parents, you know? <laughs> And you know what? I'm not angry at my parents for being homophobic because, like, I don't know what kind of ignorant I'm going to be. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. Like, I'll be at the table with my family one day just like, listen, ain't no computer, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> That's my... I'm as scared of technology as my parents are of gay people. Which makes sense, you know? Like, I'm scared. I think there's going to be an app soon that replaces the police. You know how Uber replaced cabs and then Tinder replaced our hearts in a way? <laughs> there's going to be an app to replace the cops. It'll be called Help. <laughs> Just, like, spelled with a Y somehow. <laughs> and your house is getting robbed. You're like, let's call it Help. <laughs> And help, it's just gonna be a bunch of unemployed millennials <laughs> who just like happen to own guns, you know? It's just like Andrew with an AK-47 will be there in 23 minutes. <laughs> like three stars, what the f <laughs> Andrew shows up late, he's like, sorry, my Uber driver's an idiot. Um, <laughs> my parents are scared of gay people. I'm scared of technology. My grandma's just scared of email. That's pretty much it <laughs> at this point. <laughs> she just doesn't like email because she doesn't, like, get it, you know? Which blows my mind because you know what I don't get is the regular mail. The regu have you seen the regular mail? It's f Every time I put a letter in a mailbox, my first thought is, there's no way that works. <laughs> there's how? <laughs> how does that box next to the trash can do that? <laughs> I'm a white Muslim. It's an interesting reality. First of all, my name's Ahmed, it's not Muhammad, which is more confusing. <laughs> like, my phone didn't know what Ahmed was. <laughs> like, the first time I typed my name into my phone, I typed Ahmed, and it immediately autocorrected to ashamed. <laughs> that was a tough moment for me. And then I was like, you know what, I am ashamed, that's it. That's right, because I, uh, I'm a white Muslim, which is weird, because I know if I looked Muslim, my life would be much harder in America. Uh, but I'm white, and it's great. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the secret. <laughs> if you want to be Muslim, just be white, and uh, have red hair. And make sure your last name is Weinberg. <laughs> I think being white, it's just, it's a completely unfair advantage. In a, it's like having a motorcycle in the traffic jam of races. It's f***ed up. Like, every day you look around, people are like, I'm stuck. You know, I can't get there. White people are like, oh, you just go between. <laughs> 
just zip on through there. I'm glad to be white, because uh, <laughs> there was this kid last year in America, in Texas, he got arrested for making a clock. His name was Ahmed, and he brought a clock to school that he made, and they arrested him because they thought it was a bomb, and that really offended me as a Muslim. And then I looked up a picture of his clock. <laughs> it was a pretty bomby clock, you know? That was, uh... <laughs> Couldn't have been more like a bomb, I think. <laughs> Was it a metal briefcase? <laughs> Just had like red and blue wires sticking out, <laughs> computer chips, and like just classic rush hour two bomb. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, this kid's a genius. He like went to the White House. I was like, he didn't make a clock, it was a digital clock. <laughs> he just took a clock from his dad's house and made it look like a bomb. <laughs> All right, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.